how old can that scar be? What if that scar is one year old or six months old or 15 years old? It doesn't matter. Your skin is there. Your skin can be treated. That's wow. your top uppermost skin. You can work on that. Wow. So it doesn't matter if you've had that skin for 25 years. <laughs> right. Let's talk scars. I know there are many different types of scars. You yep. know, there are scars on your face, your body, but let's talk scars in general. What are the different types of scars that people are dealing with? Sure. Um, number one, I would think that one of the most common scars is an atrophic scar. Okay. And that means basically that there is a, a divot missing. There's a hole. Okay. Right. And then we have a hypertrophic scar, mm -hmm. and that is when it's a raised scar. Okay. And there are two kinds of raised scars. There's hypertrophic and keloid. So hypertrophic, like if you were to get a wound mm -hmm. and it heals, it's always going to at least stay exactly where that wound was. It might be raised, but it's going to stay there. Okay. And the difference between a hypertrophic and a keloid is that where that wound is, the keloid expands. Okay. So it goes past where the original wound is. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you have things like a keloid scar, we have to be very, very careful with how we treat that. Okay. So there are, well, you could say we, there's also like a rolling scar mm -hmm. where there's more just uneven levels to the skin. Surgical but scars? Surgical scars, mm -hmm. for sure, where yeah. Yeah, I mean, generally a nice smooth scar, yes. but that can be addressed. I would say that's chicken pox scars. That would be probably, and you never know. Cause... Chicken pox is generally, you know, that's an atrophic scar. Right, like that a is a depression. So basically right. like the collagen around there is destroyed mm -hmm. and you're just left with this flat hole. Right. So we need to plump that up with more collagen okay. and fill that in. Hmm. So how do we do that, right? Yes, what what can we, we do? do? So if we have an atrophic scar, which you'll see some on people's faces, sure. or, or as we mentioned, a chicken pock or a pimple. Right. So what we want to do is we need to, It's this is a, a method called the TCA cross, and it's a combination of basically needling mm -hmm. and using a very strong acid to help stimulate new growth under the skin. And what we need to do, like where the needling comes in, is we're going to soak this you know, in some TCA-30 predominantly. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to poke it into the scar. So we're poking hard, mm -hmm. kind of like a needling session, but we're not drawing blood. We're just poking it into there, the it's acid. Gonna rough up and it's going to rough. A bit. Yeah, you're, we're trying to like break it down a little bit okay. while we're poking it. If it's a tiny hole, you might just poke one time. Sure. If it's, if it's a larger hole or a box okay. scar, which is just an a couple of atrophic scars mm -hmm. next to each other to take up bigger space okay or a chicken pock mark which can be you know up to the size of an eraser sure you know yeah. so you're gonna you're just gonna poke around more time so we're combining that like needling mm. with the acid that's penetrating it's gonna turn nice and white and that's called a frost or a blanching of the skin mm -hmm. and then over the course of the next few days or so we'll get a little scab in there and it's, it's just a flesh colored scab because mm -hmm. we're not drawing blood or doing anything like that and that will help to fill in the tissues. It's going to help to stimulate new collagen, okay. which is going to help to press up that bottom layer. Ah. And as we've needled it in, we're also breaking down all those fibers that are like, well, they're basically pulling, okay. you know, your, right. your upper level of skin down. Gotcha. Because you have to think about, let's think about like a pimple for a minute. Like if you have a pimple, everybody sees that rounded mark on the top. Well, there's just as much of a rounded mark on the bottom. It's a, so it's a circle or a, you know, wow. a sphere versus just a little half round. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just as inflamed below. And that inflammation a lot of times can like damage the collagen. So when that heals, it just heals and it pulls it really tight and you're just left with that hole. Mm. So we have to fill that in again. We've got to break down those fibers that are pulling that skin down. Okay and stimulate new collagen. And it's it's not gonna be a one-time thing. It's gonna take, it, you know, it could be four or five times you have to do this. Right. And you can do it once every five weeks. And that is super, super beneficial for filling in those atrophic ones. Now, I would also recommend a couple of things. You know, <clears throat> um, if I was working on a scar, and I have done this before, I've had a, a few of them on my face, about three or four of them. 
I would do the TCA cross, mm -hmm. and then I would also use this Supercop 2X because this is a great product. This helps to stimulate um, new tissue growth. It's a skin remodeling product. So this not only helps to flush out those damaged scar mm -hmm. tissues that we're trying to get rid of, mm -hmm. but it also stimulates your body to make new tissues. So those kind of work hand in hand. So I like to always recommend people use scar products like copper. And, and if this is too strong for you, there's mm -hmm. lesser versions. Sure. There's like CP serum, super CP serum. There's even the GHK, which mm -hmm. is quite a bit milder. And then super cop is the strongest. So I mean, those, that's a great way to fill in that scar. Now, if you have a hypertrophic scar, a mm -hmm. normal hypertrophic scar, you can also treat that with a peel. You know, you could use one of the TCA peels. We like to generally use a higher percentage, maybe like a 30 if you can. That's really good if your skin is lighter. Correct. So if you're a Fitzpatrick 1 to 3, we can use these stronger percentages. If you have darker skin, like Fitzpatrick 4 through 6, then we need to maybe take it a step down, maybe use the a 20. 13 or the 20. Yeah. And then Depending. that's when pre-treating comes into play with the fade bright exactly you'll always want to pre-treat if you're using a super strong product like that it's mandatory that you pre-treat your skin with like a melanin inhibitor like our fade bright mm -hmm. hydroquinone things like that because we don't want to take that scar and then end up having post-inflammatory right. hyperpigmentation on top of it right. pih absolutely so tca excellent option and you can just so we're talking about normal hypertrophic scar mm -hmm. i mean you could just take a q-tip right. you know get it wet run it along the scar do that once a month, once every five weeks or so. And that will help to, you know, the same way as the other one was, mm -hmm. and help to stimulate new tissues. And I would also recommend, you know, the copper again, just help, right. help that come in normally. Now, the only thing that I do want to say is if you're dealing with the keloid scar, where right. we talked where it expands past that wound, mm -hmm. I would not want to be aggressive at all. Right. I mean, it doesn't mean that you couldn't do like a serum 30 right but a chemical peel could chemical peels could it, make it worse it could make it worse yeah. right like your skin obviously mm -hmm. responds a little bit incorrectly you know right. the state of a wound instead of just healing it closing right. it it's deciding to continue growing to keep, tissue keep trying keep trying yeah yeah so we don't want that right so generally i don't recommend peels is it possible maybe possibly a very very mild peel maybe a glycolic mm -hmm something 50 yeah. or 70, maybe a very mild TCA7, but th that's case by case. For sure. You know, you don't ever want to make that scar worse. Absolutely. I would mostly focus on using like the Supercop 2X. Yeah, that would be a great choice. Yeah. This and Serum 30 would be a good one. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And the goal is when they are treating these scars, not keloids, of course, but surgical yep. scars and other type is the goal is just to get the acid on the actual scar, mm -hmm. not on that surrounding skin, because that's what you're focusing on is breaking yeah. down that scar tissue. Exactly. And, you know, if you if if you let's say your skin is really sensitive and it's on your hand, mm -hmm. you could use some aquaphor or some Vaseline right. and you could just put it on the other areas that you're trying to protect. Yeah, it's a great idea. And then, you know, use your Q-tip and you can get it just right where you want it without touching or harming anything else. Absolutely. But yeah, the goal is to break it down and get yeah. rid of it. So don't panic if you see frosting. Right. Don't, I mean, that's, that's okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, we want to break it down. Absolutely. Perfect. And, you know, I, consistency is key course it takes a long Absolutely. time for these scars to form so definitely consistency well and that brings up too well how old can that scar be true you know if you think okay yeah consistency we're gonna keep doing this maybe we have to do it seven times before sure. it's yeah. it's looking as good as you want it to be but what if that scar is one year old or six months old or what if it's 15 years old it doesn't matter right right your your skin is there your skin can be treated that's wow. your top uppermost skin you can work on that wow. so it doesn't matter if you've had that skin for 25 years that's good there, news. that scar yeah, that's good news right <laughs> if you've had that scar for 25 years you can still work on it wow. and you can still improve it take a photo day one definitely and then you know track your progress as you're going so you can see the improvements as you go and that will certainly give you motivation to continue those monthly peels um, I do know that sometimes when they're working on indentation scars, mm -hmm. the scar can appear to be a little bigger or wider Worse. at first. Mm -hmm. And that's when I get the emails or phone calls of panic. Yep. And that's actually a very, very good sign. And because that scar tissue is breaking down. 
And then that's when the Super Cop 2X kind of kicks in and helps regenerate. So yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that when you're working on the scar and let's say you're at that next day or two and it's irritated mm -hmm. and red right. and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks like a thousand times worse yes. than it did. Right. You can do other things like like epidermal growth factors. You can think this is your epidermis and we're yes. trying to grow more tissues in your epidermis. Yes. So this is perfect. Right. You can put this on. It's calming, soothing. It's healing. And it will it will help that to grow in as well. And I don't know why I don't think to mention this ever, but this would be a super product to Absolutely. put on. I mean, this, and you're going to work into the copper. But, you know, immediately, if you just did a cross, you don't want to put copper 2X on. That would be just super irritating. Right. Once, once the scab is gone, That's then right. you can start using right. the other products. But, you know, Regenerate can be used to heal that immediately when you're in that panic state. Right. But you have to think, I mean, the goal of this, we're forcing your skin mm -hmm. to regenerate itself. Well, it's not going to regenerate itself aggressively like that if it's fine and perfect. It's been right. fine and perfect for years and years, right. and there's that scar. We want to get rid of it, so we mm -hmm. have to physically, right. you know, irritate our skin yeah. and to try to remove it. But it it can be done, yeah. or they, and I don't want to say that every scar can be removed because that's right. that's not even the goal. It's just to make them look better for sure. And I've, I've done it on multiple scars on myself. And the, you reach a point where you're like, it's just so small and insignificant right. or so faded that you're just like, right. I, I, you just forget about it. I don't even care anymore. That's amazing. That's great. That's yeah. good news. Uh, because I feel like sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with scars and you just think, oh, that's it. It's a scar. I can't do anything. But, yeah, this but is, you can. But you can. And this is amazing. You absolutely can do something about it. Well, perfect. And if you need any more information, you can always email us or phone us. Go to yeah. the Platinum Skin Care Guru page for or advice. Or if you want to walk through on the TCA Cross, we have videos on that. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Good deal. Yay.